Rob, we're here today to talk about Ocado, the online UK grocer. And it seems like we were just here a month ago talking about them. What's new today? Well, we've had a trading update for the quarter ending in February. And total revenues at the company grew about 19%, which was better than the analysts had expected. But the stock's not moving 19%, beating the expectations. What's, what's happened? Well, is 19% enough is always the question with Ocado and companies like it. And if you are a fuddy-duddy analyst dork like myself and you're interested in things like price-to-earnings ratios or enterprise value to sales or what you think is a realistic growth rate quarter to quarter to quarter, the answer is clearly no. You can't get from where the company is now to the company being worth $2.2 billion, which is what the market says. However, if you think about it, instead of going from the bottom up, if you go from the top down, you get a different view. Think of all the money that gets spent on groceries in the UK, or even better, in all of Europe. Think about what percentage of that Ocado could ultimately get. Think what margin they could get on that percentage. And at the bottom of that funnel, you can get quite a big number. So what do we have to believe to believe in that story? Well, I think there's four parts. One, you have to believe that there's massive conversion from uh, s still further massive conversion from bricks and mortar buying of the product, in this case groceries, to on online uh, buying. Second, you have to believe the online leader remains the online leader. So this is the general thesis of everyone from Amazon to AO to Ocado. Once you're first online, the economies of scale pick up and you never look back. Third, you have to believe margins, which are now lousy, get way better when these businesses get to scale. Ocado just barely makes money. Uh, what's it going to be 10 years down the road? If you believe it's 6%, 7%, maybe you can get there. And finally, you have to believe that the bricks and mortar competitors never figure out online. All the bricks and mortar guys are losing money now in their online operations, the Tesco's and the Sainsbury's. Logistically, they don't quite have it beat. And you have to imagine they never figure it out and start fighting and taking sales back from Ocado. Or, or possibly, maybe with Ocado's model, they can move it over, do something like Morrison's did. So you see some of the other people, maybe maybe not Tesco or Sainsbury's, but M&S or some of the other ones moving online and using you, their platform. You know, I, I think that's right. And if I had to rank those four points I just made in terms of importance, I would say the bricks and mortar guys never figuring it out is the most important thing that you have to believe. And you have to believe eventually some of them say, screw it, I'm just going to let... Uh, I'm going to let Ocado take over. Outsource it. All Excellent. Right. Thanks very much. Thanks very much.